this video, we're going to create a query in Google Sheets that includes a column of sequence numbers or row numbers in the query output. Now, I've done a video on this before, but I found a much easier way to do this. I must admit that the previous video I did on this was very involved and easy to cause errors because the formula was just so ginormous. So the first thing I'm going to do is just create a simple query without the sequence column and then we will add that column on to the existing query. So we're going to begin with the query function. The first input is the data we want to query, which is all of this to the left. We have our select statement. I'm going to say select star to select all of the columns. And for now, I'm going to have a where criteria where column C is equal to auto as the loan type. So now what we want to do is add a column of sequence numbers on the leftmost column of this query. So what we're going to use is the hstack function because that allows you to put two arrays side by side. So we have our first array, which is going to be our sequence number array, and then the second array is what we've already created with this query output. So our first input is going to be the sequence function, and that does exactly what you think it would. It creates a sequence of numbers based on a starting and stopping position that you specify. So the first input is how many rows we want. So what I'm going to input here is the count a function because this function counts all of the non-blank values in an array. And what I'm going to count is any one of these columns in our existing query. So I'll just use column H. So that is our row input for how many rows we want in our sequence. The number of columns we want is always going to be 1. Now, the next input is our start number. Now, we really just want 1, but if we input 1 here, it's going to start at our header value in our query and we don't want that so I'm actually going to input 0 there. The next input is optional. The default value is 1 here. How much we want to step as far as values in each sequence. We want 1 so we really don't need to put anything else because that's already the default. I'm going to add a comma here because this is the first input of our H stack. The query is our second input and these two will be side by side. We just need to add a final closing parentheses on our the end of our formula. So you can see we get our output. And if I add more rows to our query output, if I change the criteria to business loans, it updates automatically. Now, before you click away, there is one drawback to this. If I reduce the number of rows in the query output, so if I change this back to auto, we're going to get all of these NAs because it still counts based on the previous query output, which had 11 rows counting the headers. So there's an easy workaround to reset this. Now I'm going to do it manually, but I'm going to show you a nice more automatic way to reset this in a second so just bear with me so if we go back to our sequence and change our columns input from one to zero that's going to reset this so i can just go back into it again change it to one and you can see we have our correct count again for the sequence now what we can do instead of having to manually do that we can link this to a drop down list. So I'm going to come over here and add a header that says 
row reset. Click in the cell below. I'm going to go to data, data validation. We're just going to add a drop down list. So I'm going to put zero for our first value, one for our second value. Click done. We're going to link this to that cell. So that is cell N2 for our column in our sequence. And now if I go change this to business and then change this back to auto, which would create fewer rows, we can reset this flip it to zero and then flip it back to one and it we have our automatic reset there now the only other thing I want to show you is how to change the header on this maybe you don't want a zero there maybe you want some kind of text header so to do that what you can do is add an if condition so we're going to say if the output of our sequence results in zero, then we want to add the header sequence number. Otherwise, we want whatever the sequence produces. Now, we also need to wrap this if statement in the array formula because the if only produces one single row at a time and obviously our query and our sequence produce multiple rows so we have to nest this in the array formula to make it an array output So now we have our nice header there instead of a value of zero. Well, that is all for now. Thanks for watching.